show you guys another dangle. It's the hard dangle. It's using number 14 wire. It's generally used for shark fishing bigger fish. First of all, cut the wire off. Just do it over the board here. Round nose pliers, very important. About six centimeters above the top, you make your first loop. As you can see over there. Then what I'm gonna do is a haywire twist to finish it off. So I'm just gonna leave the pliers in and twist. Twist, twist three times. And then I'm gonna take the tag in and wrap it around four times. So bring that off. It's now 90 degrees to the actual wire. And we just go around four times. Two, three, four times. To get rid of this, you don't cut it. You basically bend it. So what we do is we bend it 90 degrees and we're now gonna go anti-clockwise to the wire. So pinch it in your fingers and I'm gonna go anti-clockwise. Take it like that and it will break off perfectly every time. There's no burr or anything that will cut you on it. Just straighten it up a bit. Now I'm gonna measure how long I want this dangle to be. If I'm fishing for, for instance, raggies, I'll have it quite long. If I'm fishing for diamonds, it'll be a lot shorter. So I'm gonna make it quite short. And I'm going to put a bigger loop on it. The bigger loop part is the part that's gonna go over your sinker clip. And again, I'm just gonna do a haywire twist. Three times. To finish it off, I'm gonna bring it 90 degrees to the wire and go around four times. One, two, three, four times. Break it off, 90 degrees, and anti-clockwise once again. There it is there. So basically what happens is your sinker will now clip onto that part of the actual dangle. You can add foam to it if you want, if you want to make it more buoyant. If you're using a mackerel and you want it to be on the bottom, obviously you wouldn't use any, any um, foam with it. And basically that will be the dangle there. To finish it off, I'll take a little bit of heat shrink and just stick a little tube of heat shrink over it and just use a lighter to melt it so that it actually condenses around the eye of the hook. So when I put my hook through there, it's not gonna come off. Yeah.